All right, so now we want to explicitly define a polynomial function. All right, here's the formal definition. Might look kind of uh, kind of ugly. All right, a polynomial function in the variable x with degree n is defined this following way: p of x or f of x or whatever we want to call it, but p of x equals a sub n times x to the n plus a sub n minus one times x to the n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x to the n minus 2 plus, and we continue this pattern, right, until we get down to plus a sub 2x squared plus a sub 1x plus a sub 0, where each ai is a real number. That's, this is the fancy notation for a sub i is an element of the real number. So this fancy looking r is the set of real numbers, if you did not know that. And really all this thing is telling us is that the a's, a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub n minus 2, all the way down to a sub 1 and a sub 0, those are all just real numbers. These are the coefficients of your variable x, uh, of all your little x terms. These are the coefficients. So they're just saying the coefficients are real numbers. This first coefficient can't be, cannot be equal to 0. And then n, your exponent here, has to be a whole number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so forth and so on. That's what it has to be. And then each of these degrees just decrease by 1 from the previous one. That looks really ugly, but this is the general polynomial function. We'll be referring to bits and pieces of it later on. That's why I'm exposing you to it now. All right, so while several of them have names, there are a few that we use quite a bit, uh, particularly in this class, so you should be uh, familiar with them. The first one would be p of x equals 9. That's really just y equals 9. Right? So the n, the n from back over here, so the n over here, from the degree of your polynomial, is what number? n equals 0. This is called the constant function. constant function n equals 0. All right, then we also have things like p of x equals 3x minus 1. This would be a linear function. You've all played with linear functions before. And the n, what's the degree on this polynomial? It's a 1. Remember, the degree up here is a 1. And then we've seen things like I don't know, it's negative 7x squared plus x minus 8. This is a quadratic function. And the degree n is 2. So that generic polynomial is just saying start with your highest exponent and then decrease them by 1 when we write them up. Another one that we'll, we use quite a bit, or we say quite a bit, is the third power. So x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5. And I'm just making these numbers up as I go along here. Okay, So this is a third degree polynomial. It's called a cubic function. And the degree n is 3. So a third degree polynomial called a cubic function. A second degree polynomial called a quadratic function. A first degree polynomial is called a linear function. And a zero degree polynomial is called the constant function. Yes, for the fourth degree I think it's called quartic and for the fifth degree they're called quintic so, and, and whatnot. But uh, these are the ones, constants or cubic, that we'll be playing with and referring to, I should say, the most. Um, Alright, so that's it for the definition of a uh, polynomial function. The general polynomial function looks really ugly, but when we break it down and start looking at just individual examples, it's really not too bad. Okay, So study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.